Uh, go ahead and go go to Surah thirty six. So the the question Wait, then no, Surah thirty six. You said yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll read two through six. This is uh these are all short. These are all short little verses. Uh -huh. The question then is, why is Muhammad the final prophet? And the answer, according to the Quran, Muhammad is the final prophet because everyone else already had their prophet and Muhammad was last in line. The Arabs hadn't received their prophet. And so in other words, Allah is sending, oh, let me send the message to the people in China. Let me send a message to the people in India. Let me send the messenger to all these different people. And the last people in line were the Arabs. So once the Arabs had their prophet, then there's no, then everyone's got their prophet, right? So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and go through this. Um, I'll just read the clear Quran here. By the Quran, rich in wisdom, you, O prophet, are truly one of the messengers upon the straight path. This is a revelation from the Almighty, most merciful, so that you may warn a people whose forefathers were not warned and so are heedless, or the Sahih <laughs> International, that you may warn a people whose forefathers were not warned so they are unaware. Now think about this, ladies and gentlemen. We just read, we just read a passage of the Quran declaring that every, every group had received their prophet. So if everyone else already has their prophet and Muhammad comes to the Muhammad comes to the people and he's the prophet for this people and they hadn't been warned, that means the Arabs were last, right? That means mm -hmm. the Arabs were the last people to receive their prophet. By the way, AP, we, didn't, we haven't discussed this. Do you see a problem here already with saying that their, their forefathers were not warned? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. If I don't even know if we're thinking about the same thing here. But when I read that, I, it's it's actually hilarious. But go ahead. I I am thinking about how they were supposed to be, uh, you know, believers in the past, but were corrupted through disbelief. Are you, do you mean that? Yeah, I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking. Of, wait a minute. Weren't Abra didn't Abraham and yeah. Ishmael come there yeah, right. and and build the Kaaba and so on? Yeah. And the only thing I can think, <laughs> the only thing I can think here is they could say, but Abraham and Ishmael weren't native Arabic speakers or something like that. And therefore they didn't count. They didn't count as the clear messenger who would speak in the language of his own people. That's the only way I see I see around this uh, because it's clear. I mean, you could say, well, they just came down, they built the Kaaba and then they left. It's like, wait mm -hmm. a minute. What? No, you believe they, they were communicating with the people. I mean, they established all these practices that Muslims supposedly kept faithfully for thousands of years so that even when they were complete pagans, they still performed the rites of the Hajj faithfully and so on. Um, so you'd have to say that Abraham and Ishmael did a pretty bang up job of communicating the basic religious practices to the, the, the people of Arabia, but somehow their forefathers were not warned. Yeah, so the, the Quran says two things, uh, as far as I remember, in two different parts. It says uh, in one part that uh, that Abraham and his uh, his offspring, his sons, were instructed to tell the people to uh, to tell people all around the world to come to the Kaaba annually and to circle it after they built it. In another part, it also says, uh, if I'm not wrong, that uh, after building the Kaaba, Abraham said. Um, prayed to Allah and uh, asked Allah to send a prophet to this nation, which is here, who will speak their language and who will preach to them. Now, you, you have these two kind of conflicting things, but we will, we will get to mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to Surah 34. But uh, so the, the Arabs somehow hadn't been warned, even though they'd had Abraham and Ishmael there, building them a place of worship and setting that, setting up all of the basic fundamental religious practices that they're supposed to perform. They did such a, a bang up job that even, even the pagans kept up these practices faithfully for thousands of years, uh, but somehow they didn't bother to warn the people at all. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Or, or again, the, the only way out of this that I can see is for most is for Muslims to just say, but it wasn't in their language, so it wasn't clear enough, which yeah. only which only supports our case that, that the position of the Quran is that it was sent in the language of a particular people for a particular purpose. Mm -hmm. And that what Muslim apologists today say completely contradicts the purpose of the Quran and destroys all their dawah. Do you want to go on with a different verse or? 
Uh, yeah, let's just read Surah, uh, go to Surah 32. 32. This is good. This is just, uh, this is kind of overkill because overkill is underrated. Okay. Um, yeah, just go down to verse three. Um, oh, three. And this is, this is just, this is only saying the same thing that we've seen in multiple verses. We just want to understand how clear the clear Quran is on this point, right? So verse three here. Uh, or do they say he has fabricated it? Talking about if they say that Muhammad has fabricated the Quran, which is what I would say. Or do they say he has fabricated it? No, it is the truth from your Lord in order for you, Muhammad, to warn a people to whom no warner has come before you so they may be rightly guided. So they may be rightly guided. A people that have not received any warner before, so they may be guided. And once what does that sound like? Yeah. <laughs> and once again, ladies and gentlemen, according to the Quran, Abraham and Ishmael had already come to these people and set up their worship. What is the only way to make sense of this? That the warner has to, to be a native Arabic speaker. And that's why Muhammad was th that Abraham and Ishmael didn't even qualify. They didn't even qualify as having warned the Arabs. The Arabs have to be warned in their own language. It's the only thing that qualifies. Got that, got that so far? Yep.